Hi, it's Rachel Elizabeth here with your Monday challenge and today's challenge starts with a little bit of information about supplements. You've heard of a million supplements, I know you have, but which ones are necessary to take and which ones are a little over the top or a little more goal specific? Now, it's a little hard to decipher because there's so many and they're not regulated by the FDA, so it's really tricky to know which are the best, which are the best quality, and what you actually need to take. There are four supplements that I want you to make sure that you are getting as a part of your well-rounded and perfectly healthy, totally natural fitness program. Number one is a multivitamin. A multivitamin fills in all the gaps in your nutrition. So even if you're eating 100% clean and eating multiple times a day and you're getting lots of greens, the problem is not even the best, most nutrient-rich foods can give you all of the vital essential nutrients in the form of vitamins and minerals. So a multivitamin fills in the gaps. Number two is a branched-chain amino acid supplement. Branched-chain amino acids. They are the building blocks of protein. Protein helps maintain, preserve, and repair muscle tissue. So if you want that lean, beautifully toned look, then you're gonna want to make sure that you're not wasting muscle when you're working out, and your body's main source of energy when you're working out is going to be, first of all, ATP, but then second of all, if you're not getting the right nutrients in or the right supplementation, you're gonna start going catabolic, which means you're basically breaking down muscle tissue. So, in order to counteract that, give your body an extra pool of amino acids to break down before it goes into your muscle. You've worked so hard for it, why break it down? Take branched chain amino acids. Before workout, post-workout, and or before bed. The third supplement I want you to make sure you're taking is kind of something that goes hand in hand with branched chain amino acids. It's called L-glutamine or glutamine. It's also an amino acid, but what that does is it helps you repair muscle faster. So when you're working out, you're actually tearing down muscle. What you want to do is repair that. So you're actually getting the benefit of your workouts after the gym. So make sure you work hard and earn that repair. Glutamine helps you repair muscle faster. It helps you decrease delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS. And what that is, is that really, really painful feeling. <laughs> you can't even move. I can barely do squats after leg day. That is DOMS. Glutamine helps repair your muscles faster and decreases that. Who wouldn't want that? So it's faster recovery. Lastly, it helps increase your immune system. So, less colds. And you know that the gym isn't exactly the cleanest place, even though it's helping you become healthier, right? So. Glutamine helps you counteract that and boost your immune system. Immune system. Lastly, I want you to make sure that you are supplementing enough protein in your diet. Get a nice whey protein. If you're allergic to whey, get a, uh, there's soy, there's casein, there's egg protein, there's all these different kind of proteins in powder form and you can supplement just like you would fill in the gaps with your nutrition with a multivitamin most people aren't getting enough protein in their diets, so you can supplement protein. There's all different kinds. If you're a vegan, there's a protein for you. If you're a vegetarian, there's a protein for you. If you really don't care, go with whey. It's one of the best ways to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Your Monday challenge is gonna be to make sure that you are supplementing appropriately. Make sure that you're avoiding some of the mm, unnecessary supplementation. Go become an expert. Go look it up online, talk to a nutritionist, talk to a doctor. Go figure it out. That is your Monday challenge. Be aware of it and get your supplementation down. And I will see you here again next week.